Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze a polyflow simulation of a viscoelastic flow material which is placed in between two cones. It is a 2D axis symmetric problem. There are two cones. The top one cone is fixed one and the bottom cone is rotating at a speed of 2 pi radian per second. The top cone is heated which has a temperature of 323 Kelvin. We are going to analyze this in ANSYS polyflow. So let's start. Drag the ANSYS polyflow. Select the 2D analysis type. Right click on geometry and select new design model or geometry. Go to units and change it to millimeter. Select the XY plane. Click on the G axis. Go to sketching toolbar and draw a polyline. Should be vertical, then inclined one, another horizontal line, then another inclined one. Right click and select closed end. Now we are going to put dimensions to this. Right click and select alternate angle. Again select alternate angle. Now put the values of this. We are making the cone angle as 45 degree and the gap between the two cones as 30 mm. And click on generate. We are now going to convert this sketch to a 2D surface. For this go to concept tab and select surface from sketches. The 2D surface is created. Now we are going to create another sketch to split this surface into two parts. I put the dimension so that the line will be at the middle of this surface. Now we are going to convert this sketch to a line body. Select the line and click on generate. We can now project this line body or we can use the space split option. Select the target face as the surface body and the geometry. Select the two ends of this line, hold control key and select two ends, then click on apply and click on generate. Now face split has been done on this 2D surface. Now we can suppress this line body and proceed for meshing. Close night design modeler and proceed for meshing. Open the meshing tool. We are going to put edge sizing. So select insert and select sizing option. Select the edges or the four edges. Click on the geometry then apply. 
Select the type as number of divisions. Put the number of divisions as 3. Uh, select another raise sizing. Select all these three edges. Now put number of divisions. Up to 20. Now we are going to insert a mapped face missing for this. Insert the face sizing option, two faces, then click on apply. Then generate the mesh. The missing has been generated. We are keeping a larger size of cells so that the solution will be at a faster rate. Now we are going to add the named selections. Select the end edges and so name it as the axis. Select the top wall, name it as free surface. Now select the bottom cone and name it as rotating wall. Select the top and name it as stationary wall. Now check if all this name selection has been done properly or not. Now select the face selection tool, select the bottom selected face and name it as that is subdomain, subdomain 1. Similarly select the top surface and name it as subdomain 2. Click on OK. Now all the name selection has been done successfully. And right click on this mesh and click on update. Now close this meshing. Open this setup. This is the poly data window. Now click on the create a new text. We are going to select the 2D axis half axis symmetric geometry click on accept the current setup now select create a soft tax and select differential viscous elastic non isothermal flow model select the domain of the soft tax these are the two domains now in the material data we are going to select the density put a value of density as 1200 click on ok then click on upper level menu and select the thermal conductivity put 0.5 it is a viscous elastic material select the differential viscous elastic model enter the fast viscous elastic model and select gas cost model Visc is the partial viscosity viscosity of the elastic mode it controls resistance to flow. T relax is the relaxation time. Is the time for stress to decay after deformation. Alpha is the mobility parameter. It controls the shear thinning. The ratio is the stress weighting factor. Its purpose is to scale contribution of this mode to the total stress. Generally by default, take it as 1. Enter the value. Relaxation factor as 0.7 and alpha as 0.1 keep the ratio as 1 click on accept click on ok and select upper level menu again select upper level menu and put the boundary conditions Select the axis as the axis of symmetry, 
enter the free surface as free surface now in the free surface you have to assign the boundary conditions so along the stationary wall we are putting the constants as position inputs now again go to upper level menu again click on upper level menu now in the rotating wall we are going to impose the rotational velocity for this select the normal and tangential velocity in click on the w velocity and put the value of w velocity as 2 pi that is 6.282 and keep all this value as constant 0 and the zero wall velocity along the stationary wall now we are putting thermal boundary condition on the stationary wall click on modify and put the temperature temperature of 323 kelvin click on ok and go to upper level menu select the global remeshing select the subdomain 1 remove it select the subdomain 2 first select the upper level menu select method of spines select the axis as the part of inlet section and the free surface as the part of outlet section I can go to upper level menu and clear, create another local remeshing for this ST1. Go to upper level menu, select method of spines, again select the axis and name it as part of inlet section and the free surface as the part of outlet section. Go to upper level menu. Go to upper level menu. Click on numerical parameters. Select the select modify the evolution parameter. Now put the values of initial values of S as 0 0.05. Then the delta S initial value of delta S. 0.05 then maximum value of delta s as 0.3 then click on ok select upper level menu then enable the conversion strategy for viscoelasticity now click on our upper level menu we are going to define a sub tax over here for the post processing we click on create sub tax click on no now select here post processor click on ok now select the total extra stress and back tensor enable the agent value calculation create another post processor select the rate of deformation tensor Now select upper level menu, click on outputs, enable the outputs of the CFD post processing. If you want, you can also select output for mechanical APDL output and polyflow output. Click on the upper level menu. Click on save and exit. Then accept the current setup. Click on accept. Then click on continue. Now polyflow will be closed. Now right click on the solution 
and select update. The solution process will continue in the background. Now open the results. Insert a contour. Select the location. The drop down select all these surfaces available surfaces over here and click on OK. Select the variable as local shear rate and the range as global range. Put the number of controls as 100. This is the local shear rate. this rotation now we are going to see the another half of this cone so we are going to duplicate this contour Now go to view toolbar and select apply reflection mirroring. Select the YZ plane and click on apply. The contour will be mirror to the left side so that it would visualize the total part of this uh, domain. You can save this image. Similarly, get the contour of temperature distribution along this cone. Now we are going to see the velocity vector distribution in between these cones how the velocity is varying in between these cones so we are going to insert a velocity vector With this, let's conclude this demonstration. If you have any doubt, then please comment below. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe. Keep learning and keep exploring. And get new ideas every day. Thank you.